all right. I guess I'll try going through this dungeon now. Yeah, and I think the, uh, these eight dungeons or whatever, uh, I think they're a bit longer than the original, uh, the, the first three dungeons. Oh, so one thing I want to try doing, uh, sometime, I don't know if I'll do it here on camera or whatever, is, uh, get to the, uh, uh, the hidden room, uh, what's his name's room? Uh, Justin, no, not Justin Bailey, that's the Metroid thing. Uh, whatever the hidden room is called, it's uh, slipping my mind right now, but, uh, yeah, I've uh, never actually, you know, gotten into that before, and uh, I don't know, I was thinking about that earlier, and kind of like looking up and seeing, you know, what people's uh, uh, thoughts were on that. Uh... Alright, so I got two fairies. Uh... So one thing I did read uh, recently, uh, there was a YouTuber called uh, Gaijin TV. Uh, I think he did a video on this, uh, on well, on the uh, the hidden room and uh, what's his name. Uh, his uh, hypothesis was that the uh, was that there is no uh, there was no winner of the thing, and they just. Uh, you know, like, made it up, basically. Uh, that just with, I think, like, the, the timing of when the, the game came out and the uh, uh, the contest, that uh, there just wasn't enough time and probably nobody won. I think that's what he was uh, saying. So, uh... Yeah, I don't know about... I don't know if that's... Uh, true or not, but uh, one thing I was, I had thought is that, uh, I don't know if it was ever actually stated anywhere that, uh, the room in Zelda was from the winner of the, of the contest. Like, I tried looking through, uh, some of the, uh, relevant, uh, Nintendo powers from around that time. Uh, but I couldn't, uh, I couldn't find any, like, actual, like, oh, and the winner is so-and-so, and, yeah, so I don't, I don't know, it is possible that that's just not the right, uh, uh, you know, not the right person, like, the, uh, the guy who won that contest isn't, uh, uh, I don't know, what's his name? Actually, I'm just gonna... I gotta look this up, it's bothering me. Up, uh, Chris Houlihan. Yeah, so I just, yeah, it's the Chris Houlihan room. Yeah, so that's what I kind of was wondering, is that maybe uh, that is not actually the, uh, you know, Chris Houlihan wasn't the winner of the contest. This is just unrelated. Like, he was a, I don't know, a, 
like a, a developer on the game or a translator or something. Or like a friend of one of the translators or something. Maybe the hole would take me somewhere. Now I'll probably, I don't know, just start, uh, you know, continue on with talking about the different uh, Zelda games. Uh, I didn't earlier because I was, uh, I was expecting to only play for a short time. I thought I would uh, get to the, get to the Dark World, you know, do all that, get to this palace and then stop. And I didn't want to... Uh, I don't know, in case I ran long, uh, cut off in the middle of uh, talking about a game, but uh, it ended up taking much longer than I expected, so... Oh well. I guess I could have. I know the hammer kills them, but uh, I kind of thought something else would. Yeah, so I guess uh, going on with the other games, uh, I guess the next one would be uh, Majora's Mask. Uh, so yeah, I got uh, Majora's Mask. Mm, I'm pretty sure... Uh, I don't know. It would have been near release date anyways. Uh, yeah, I don't know if it was... Uh, at like release date or anything, uh, like th the actual day, uh, or if it was just like the next uh, birthday or Christmas after, I don't remember. But uh, yeah, it was uh, very soon. Like I remember like seeing it in Nintendo Power and everything, and uh, wanting it. Uh, yeah, I ended up. I did play. Uh, Majora's Mask a lot. Uh, I didn't like the the three day time limit. That was something that uh, just as a kid it really really bothered me. I was just uh, you know, super stressed out by it all the time. And uh, yeah, but uh, I you know it was such a good game. I, I beat it anyways. Uh, I did eventually get the player's guide for it. Uh, I think it was probably after I had already beat it, though. I think I did beat it uh, without the guide, and then uh, used the guide uh, to get all the masks. I, I never managed to get all the masks by myself. Uh, especially, like, uh, Cafe's mask and a couple of the other ones were uh, just way too, I don't know, obscure for me at the time. 
Uh, but yeah, eventually I did go and uh, get the guide and use it and got all the masks and everything. Uh, and then uh, got the Fierce Deities mask. The Fierce Deity. Uh, I, I don't know if I ever got all the fairies as a kid. I think that was one thing that even though I could see uh, how to do it, like where they all were with the guide, uh, I think it was just... Uh, like I said, with the time limit, it was just way too stressful. Yeah, I was just too worried about like getting getting them all in the time. Plus, you have to pretty much like beat the whole dungeon again in order to get the fairies. Uh, so it just it wasn't something I wanted to do. Uh, I think I, I did end up getting some of the great fairy hidden stuff. Uh, uh, but I think, like, the Great Fairy Sword might have been one I, I never ended up getting. Okay. Oh, well, I, I've got the fairies anyways. It doesn't matter. Uh, but yeah, since then, I, th I think I have gone and uh, done like a 100% run or whatever where I, uh, I got everything. Uh, and I did... Yeah, I haven't... Uh, again, I this is one where I played it over and over and over and, you know, playing through the entire game and also just running around on the map and... You know, fighting monsters for fun and uh, playing with all the different masks and just exploring every little inch. Because I had it as a kid when you had infinite free time and only a couple games. Uh, but since then, I haven't played it uh, as much. I think, uh, well, Ocarina of Time, I think, is less stressful to play through over again. Uh, so I, I think I played it more, uh... The last time I can remember playing it would be probably, uh... Uh, when the 3D... Yeah, I think I played it a bunch as a kid, and then, uh... At some point, the, uh, 3DS remake came out, uh, and I got that. And I ended up playing most of it. I don't think I beat the, the remake. But I did, uh, I think I beat like half of it or something and then just, I don't know, some other game came out and I was like, well, you know, I've already uh, already played this. And, uh, I think also I was playing it like at lunch at work. Uh, and so I would play a You know, I would play a little bit, like, you know, half an hour at a time. And that made the, uh, you know, uh, finding all the stuff a bit difficult. Because I would, I would be, like, half an hour into a dungeon and then, you know, uh, maybe that was, like, Friday or something. And so then, uh, you know, when Monday came around, I didn't know where I was supposed to continue on in the dungeon. And with the time limit and everything, it made it a bit uh, stressful to try and, like, you know, backtrack and stuff and figure out what was going on. Uh, and with it being on the 3DS, you know, I, I was mostly playing it at work and I didn't want to just, you know, sit down and play it for long stretches at home. Yeah, I do really like it, though. I think it's probably... Mm, it's not my favorite Zelda. Uh, I like the original in Breath of the Wild better. Uh, but... Uh, after those, I'd, I'd say it probably might be my favorite after them. Okay. Uh, we're...
Yeah, like it's got the, I don't know, it's got the coolest kind of like atmosphere. Um, you know, the coolest world, and, you know, now that I'm a bit older, I do really like the, the three-day time limit thing. Uh, which is a cool idea, and something that, you know, I, I don't think Nintendo would do today. I, I don't think they would be kind of, like, brave enough to do that, and, uh, you know, risk uh, alienating people. They, they would have to have some, you know, if they did it today, they would do some, like, concession where... You know, uh, yeah, you start off with a time limit, but, uh, you know, pretty much immediately you get the ability to just jump around wherever you want or, you know, something like that. I, I don't think they would do a full, uh, you know, the unforgiving time limit like they had. Okay, I think down here there was a hammer spot. Oh, I also really like the idea that they just kind of like you know, reused all the assets to make like a parallel world thing. Uh, it would be really cool if they would do that again. Uh, I guess I'm not sure if that's what they're doing with the new Breath of the Wild. Uh, if it's going to be like the same or uh, or what's going to happen. That just leads here. Uh, uh, geez. So I've, I've missed a key somewhere. I can go down that uh, that one stairway uh, then there's a just a locked door Okay. Uh... 
does he have to say? Okay, maybe I didn't go down here before. Okay, I guess I I just missed this spot. These the rupees in these uh, blue sections they have a uh, I don't know a strangely small hitbox. You gotta be really, you know, right on them pretty much to get them. Okay, uh... Alright, alright, I got the key. So I, I just go uh, south a couple, and then uh, east, and then uh, north, and then, uh, and then I can get uh, back down to where I need to use that key. hoping for uh, hearts or something. Yeah, so I'm not sure what else there's to say about Majora's Mask. Uh, yeah, I just, I don't know, I liked it a lot. Uh, uh, I would like to play it as well uh, in VR, and I think that should be pretty doable because uh, uh, I believe it will be on the uh, Wii Virtual Console, so I can play it through Dolphin easily with the uh, 3D.
Although with it being, I think it's, yeah, it'll be a bit more difficult, I think. Uh, it's a bit more, like, text-heavy, I think, so... Uh, the text is pretty much unreadable uh, in the VR, so that'll be uh, not good, but... Uh, I don't know, it'll just be cool to see the world in 3D. Uh, so the next game it looks like that came out was the Oracles games. Uh, my cousin initially got uh, Oracle of Seasons, and uh, I saw him playing it and stuff, and uh, I wanted one, so I got the Ages so that we could uh, do the trade stuff. Uh, so yeah, we I I don't remember if we ever actually ended up doing the trade stuff. Uh, I think he lived, you know, I didn't see him all the time then. I think, like, after I had bought it, uh, or, you know, I, I saw he, him playing it, and then we didn't see each other for, like, a couple months, and then at that time I had, like, you know, already beaten it all, and, uh, you know, was done with it, kind of. Uh, yeah, I think, uh... Yeah, I got the game, uh, I don't think it was Christmas or anything, I just bought it, I guess, and, uh, yeah, uh, Oracle of Ages, that is, and then, uh, I remember one of my neighbor friends, uh, about the same age as me, uh, I remember him telling me one day, oh, he, he bought Oracle of, uh, Ages, so... Uh, I don't know, he came over, or he said, uh, he got Oracle of Ages, so he came over and we spent, like, all day, uh, you know, playing it and, uh, you know, going back and forth, getting through the dungeon and stuff. Uh, and then, I think, like, you know, we got, like, partway through the game, and then the next day he, you know, he comes over and I'm like, oh, where's Zelda? And he's like, oh... I didn't actually buy it, I was just renting it, I had to take it back. And so I, you know, I was pretty pissed at that, because, you know, we spent all day getting, like, halfway through, and then he's just like, oh no, I, I didn't actually have it, I was just renting it. Is that? Okay, good. Uh, I should probably stop screwing around, though. Uh, I guess the hammer is, uh... Yeah, I, uh, I don't want to die, so I'm just gonna... So, uh, sometime after beating Oracle of Ages, I bought Oracle of Seasons, and then, uh, beat it, and then, uh, fortunately, I don't, you don't have to use, like, the link cable, uh, you get, uh, passwords. Well, I guess for anyone who doesn't know, on um, both of those games, it, I think at various points you can get, like, passwords and stuff. Uh, and you get one password when you beat the game, and then when you start, another game in like the opposite game uh you can put in the password and then i think you kind of i don't know i i don't remember exactly what it is you kind of continue it's like doing a new game plus but in the other game uh so then you can kind of i think you keep some stuff or you start with like more hearts and special uh, items and stuff uh, and then you can kind of trade items back and forth between the two games uh, and yeah, it must be just through passwords, uh, because I was able to do it all by myself with just my one Game Boy. 
on at some point I got the guide and then was able to do like everything, you know, get find everything in both games and uh, Yeah, so I I like them. Uh they don't really stand out as much. Uh I'd place them kind of uh you know, around uh Link's Awakening, in terms of how much I like them, where, you know, they were good and everything, but they're not, uh... Well, I do like... I think I like them a bit better than Link's Awakening, but they're, uh... Yeah, they, they were good, but they're not, uh... I didn't like them as much as, like, Majora's Mask. Um, yeah, I think, aside from that initial, like, I played it, and then I played it again, and, uh, then I got Seasons, and, uh... You know, played through it, and then did, like, the New Game Plus thing, and the trading. After that, I don't think I really played them much anymore. Uh, I don't know if that was just if it was just because I didn't really like them as much, or if it was uh, just because at that point I had I was getting more games. Uh, you know, I th uh, yeah, I was getting more games, and so uh, I didn't need to just play the same game over and over again. Uh, and I haven't played them since then. Uh, so yeah, it's been I don't know 20 years, I guess, since I played them. So what's next? Alright, uh, I guess I can just do whatever ones I want now. Yeah, I guess now that I've got the mirror, or like the, the hammer, most of the world is opened up, I think. Uh, I should be able to get to basically everywhere. I think there's some spots I need the hook shot, but uh, otherwise. Those guys always look to me like they've got a like a a cloth wrapped around like a ball or something on the end of their spear. Like something you'd use in like training or something. It doesn't look like something that would hurt. Now I know he's the one who gives me the Mega Bomb, or whatever, eventually. Uh, but I don't remember exactly how, how you do that, uh, so I'll uh, leave it for now. Okay, he gives you the shovel. I, I didn't remember uh, where exactly uh, you got the shovel, but I knew you would use it here.
Eh, I gotta not use that too close. around here somewhere. Or it was in the dark world, maybe? Yeah, uh, I thought it was here somewhere. I, I probably should have been uh, listening to him, see what he said. I don't remember ever digging this much. be under a flower. I think that would make sense. It's probably under some, yeah, it's gotta be a flower. Uh, all right, good. Thank <laughs> you. 
I think this will let me get the, uh, there's a uh, magic spell up here, I believe. No? Okay. Must be over in the other screen. I know you use the, uh, you use the mirror somewhere to get, uh, up on a cliff in the desert, I think. Aiming, I was shooting way too early for the first couple. As I pressed it, I knew I shouldn't have shot there. shoot again. I just wanted to do it until I uh, got perfect. Then I could see if you would get a heart. I guess that's more of like a Ocarina of Time thing. Uh, I don't know if many of them actually do give you stuff for beating them in this. I don't know if there's a art piece in there. Anyway, uh, on to Kakariko, I guess. I guess I can't go that way. I've got to uh, go around the other way. Oh, 
Uh, while I'm here, uh, I think there's some stuff I can do here. actually uh, really use those that much. I think they just use up way too much uh, magic, but it never seemed worth it. guy oh Used. You can't take him down those. He disappears when you go to the other world. Uh, you can't take him out of here. So I don't know uh, how you're supposed to uh, get him. Oh wait, uh, actually, I think there's a, a chest in in Kakariko that follows you. I think you you bring the chest to him, maybe. Uh, well, I need I need the hook shot to get across there, so. Or the gloves to get across through here. Or through up there. Uh, call them down here. Uh, I should really use the magic powder on. Wait, I'm gonna do this again.
Alright. Alright, uh, I guess I'm just gonna break the recording here, uh, and then uh, do this.